it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me again today for another One Stamp at a Time project. And this is my project. And there is a certain amount of irony around this one. Uh, the theme for this month's One Stamp at a Time blog hop is animals. So I have gone for the Back on Your Feet stamp set because I thought specifically bearing in mind that I've had a chest infection for two weeks, this would be quite a good one for me. So, um, as I say, slightly ironic. So I've got this really pretty card. It's come together so well. I'm so pleased with it. Uh, I shouldn't be, but I am. Um, and inside we've got the uh, giraffe again, but just in black and white, and hope things get better soon. So it's not. Ha ha, good. And then this is just a little box which you could put some goodies in for someone who's not feeling very well. Um, and it's using the die from the Petals and Parcels, or indeed Parcels and Petals uh, bundle, which is in the annual catalogue. You know, that thing we keep forgetting we've got. Um, so that's that. Now I've done a number of videos on how to make the box. So today I'm just going to show you how I made the card and how I coloured my giraffe. So I'm going to start with a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock, my stamp and some Memento ink so that I can ink this up. And now you will see that I've got a very definite wiggly line here. I like to make sure that I know what is a scrap and what isn't. So when it's a large piece of card, I tend to deliberately cut it crooked so that I know it's not an intentional sized piece. So I'm going to stamp towards the edge of this piece of card because I want the die to be with the giraffe towards the right hand side of the die. And the die is just one of the stitched rectangles. Uh, and I will show you which one in a moment. Now I'm going to just leave that to dry for a wee bit um, and while it's doing that, because you should always leave your memento to fully dry before you use your blends, um, I'm just going to put the rest of the card sort of together. Uh, in fact I need to bring in another piece of Whisper White for the inside of the card as well. So while I've got my inky um, giraffe. I'm going to ink up the top of him again and just stamp him towards the bottom right hand corner onto a piece of scrap paper and as I say I'm not going to colour that, that's going to just be the colour that it is and then I've also got my hope things get better soon stamp and again, just ink that up with my memento and pop that in the middle. And I do like to leave my stamp on my paper for a good uh, portion of time, just so that I know the ink has actually transferred across. Now I will be using my memento again in a moment, um, but for the moment all I need to do is to attach my paper, which is part of the Flowering Foils Celebration second release. Um, this is copper, um, or it might be rose gold. It's one or the other. I think it might be rose gold. Um, it's just copper and white. Now you can ink your card up, and I've got a, um, a video later in the week where I've done exactly that. Uh, so you can ink up over the uh, foiling and the foiling will resist the ink, um, particularly if you use just ordinary ink. So you can use a brayer or a dauber um, or one of our sponges, something like that. So the only other thing I need to do with this is to add some ribbon. And that's the Daffodil Delight ribbon, which is actually from the Birthday Bonanza Suite. But... Um, it's Daffodil Delight, so as I'm using Daffodil Delight card and, ooh, I've used the wrong scissors for glue. I've got glue on my nice scissors. Um, as I've used Daffodil Delight on my giraffe, I'm using Daffodil Delight as my accent. Um, and I'm just going to attach that with 
some snail adhesive just on the back. Now it's going to be quite interesting to get the uh, ribbon to look straight because the lines aren't. So I'm not even going to bother looking at the lines on the front of the card because wherever I put my ribbon on the back of the card you can guarantee it's not going to line up with one of the stripes. So here it's down and not so down. I'm not worrying. It's fine. Um, and I can pop that onto my card blank which is just a half sheet of soft suede and I just want to get that stuck down because there is glue already on the back of the card so I don't want glue to attach to anything it shouldn't so I'm just going to attach that to the front of my card and of course because I've used liquid adhesive I've got wiggle room if I need it and then I can use, I'm going to use snails to attach my liner to the inside of my card and then I can start colouring my image for the outside because I will know that the memento is fully dry. And it, as I say, it's just it's just worth giving it that extra little bit of time um, so that you don't end up smudging your ink. Now, I do need to just put a little bit of ribbon there, but I don't need to do that yet. So um, I will leave that for the moment. So here is our image and I'm using just four uh, blends. I've got the Soft Suede Duo combo. I've got a light... Yes, light Cajun Craze and dark Daffodil Delight. Now, you can do this in any order you like, but I have tried this in a number of orders, and I have found that by putting down my Cajun Craze first, and then going all over, so doing all of my Cajun Craze work first, I can still blend quite nicely with my Daffodil Delight. So... I'm going to fill in some of the um, markings, but I'm not filling in all of all of the markings. Uh, in fact, I'm not filling in all of any of the markings. So I'm going to leave a little bit of the marking uh, white for the moment, but um, you'll see that it will blend quite nicely with the Daffodil Delight when we get to that bit. So... I'm going to stop at that point purely because I'm going to be repeating myself for the ne next little bit. So I'm going to not waste your time uh, by just colouring in everything because I'm doing it all the same. So at this point, I'm coming in with my Daffodil Delight. We want his eye to be white because unless he's got jaundice, it will be. Um, I have known people who have had jaundice, and trust me, their eyes do go daffodil to light yellow. So all I'm now doing is literally just adding daffodil delight over the top of everything and just spending a little bit more time on the markings, particularly the edge of the markings, just to blend that in a bit. So I'm popping on quite a lot of daffodil delight first and then going back and blending out that edge. And I just found that that was the quickest way to do this, um, but it does, it does blend out quite nicely. And then for the feet, now you're gonna come all the way down with the Daffodil Delight, and then the ground is going to be light soft suede. So I'm just adding all of that uh, over the feet and then coming back in uh, with the feet and just going over the area at the hoof. But by doing it that way, you don't have to worry about blending out the hooves. So, true blue, blue Peter fashion, here's one I've prepared earlier. So the only thing I need to add now is the, that's not good. Uh, so let's ink that up and that fits quite nicely uh, into where the knot is. So whether 
I guess it's straight or not is going to be debatable. So, ish. So I thought it was just playing even more on the pun if we put the knot near the knot. I'm just in one of those slightly daft moods. Um, I've got so much to do that I'm beginning to go stupid. Um, so let's add some dimensionals to the back and then we're nearly done. So as I say, this is part of the One Stamp at a Time blog hop. So if you follow the link to my uh, website, which is immediately below in the description bar, you will find the link to the blog hop. Um, do go and have a look at what everyone else has been up to. I think you'll find quite a lot of Easter projects. Um, I think I'm probably the only one who's gone um, quite as mad as I have. Um, blame it on not being 100% well. So um, do go and have a look at those. If you're in the UK and need any products, obviously I would be thrilled if you would shop with me. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, slightly odd humour included, please give me a thumbs up. It does make a huge difference to um, how YouTube views my videos. If people like my videos, then so does YouTube. Um, so, yes. And of course, if you don't already subscribe, that would be a lovely thing for you to do. Um, but particularly, as I say, if you're in the UK, if you would like to shop with me, I would be thrilled to um, share my customer service with you. I do try and look after my customers well. Uh, I've always been in a customer service industry, so um, it is something that I am quite proud of. So hopefully you will agree if you give me a go. So there we are. We've got our little package, which has just got the um, the head again. And I've used the Label Me. I think this is Label Me Lovely, but it's in the new mini catalogue. Um, and I've, I've punched twice because obviously the blend comes through to the back like this. Uh, so I have punched twice and then just stuck the two together before then punching the hole in the corner. More Daffodil Delight and a piece of white baker's twine. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. As I say, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to leave any questions or comments, you can do that below. And all the links to my website and all that good stuff are below. And there'll be close-up photos of this and dimensions and all that sort of stuff. Thank you very much indeed. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye!